Today's story devotion is using a lost sheep book called Bob the Bird. One day Bob the Bird went to visit his friends. First he flew to the farm to see Kevin the quail. Come and see the farmer, said Kevin. You won't believe it. He has sown his crop, but every day he worries. What if it doesn't rain? What if the plants don't grow? What if I don't have enough food for my family? Poor fellow, doesn't he have a father in heaven, like the one who cares for birds? Bob said goodbye to Kevin and flew to town to see Penelope the pigeon. Come and see the butcher, said Penelope. You won't believe it. He says his sausages are all beef but I've seen him fill them. They're half sawdust. Every day he worries. If I don't cut corners, I'll go broke. If I go broke, I'll lose my shop. If I lose my shop, I'll lose my reputation as a respectable businessman. Poor fellow, doesn't he have a father in heaven like the one who cares for birds? It was getting late, so Bob said goodbye to Penelope and flew off to visit his old friend Ozzy the Owl. Come and look at this, said Ozzy. You won't believe it. She does an honest day's work then stays up every night worrying. What if prices go up? What if my wages go down? What if I fall asleep and someone steals my money? Doesn't she have a father in heaven like the one who cares for birds? The next day, Bob saw a, saw a crowd of worried people he felt sad because they didn't seem to have a father in heaven who cared for them. But in the middle of the crowd was one man who looked happy. Don't worry about your life, he said. Don't worry about having something to eat or wear. Life is more than food and clothes. Look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store grain in barns. Yet your Father in heaven feeds them. Hooray! The people do have a Father in heaven who cares for them. If only they would believe it. Life is tough at times and there is plenty for adults and kids to worry about. At the start of this pandemic, people worried about the spread of the virus. Now as we see some of the restrictions put in place for our protection eased when we can see that this will pass, people now worry about what happens next. And that doesn't even cover the everyday worries that people in the story worried about. This story is based on Jesus' teaching in Matthew 6, 
25 to 26. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Jesus never ignores the harsh realities of life. Instead, he encourages all creatures to live in the reality of God the Father's love. Bob's story can help us learn how to name our worries and place them in the hands of the Father and live with joy, love and courage. Let us pray. Father, you indeed encourage us to name our worries and to leave them to you, to place them in your hands and not to carry them around with us so that they cloud our days and our nights. So Lord, just in this short silence, let us lay before you our worries and our anxieties and leave them with you. You have us covered, Lord covered with the precious blood of your Son. And we leave our worries with you now. And we face the day ahead and the days beyond this day and the nights in between with the assurance that you are present. Amen. <laughs>